Hey makers, it's Brie from Minerva. I am so excited about today's video. The most wonderful time of the year is right around the corner and I am so excited to get all dolled up and celebrate the coming winter holidays. And of course, that means sewing up some festive winter garments. For this video, I've selected eight projects that are perfect for the festive season. We'll explore some classic party dresses, but I've also got some great separate options as well. I've chosen a mix of like all out sparkly party fabrics, as well as some more casual picks that you can more easily fold into your year round wardrobe. And I was really thinking through the different types of festive parties we might be attending this season and also thinking a little bit about what travel looks like. So sewing a little mini capsule wardrobe as well. So whether you are hosting a casual dinner, attending an office party or like going all out, let's take a look at some fab festive sewing inspiration. First up, let's talk holiday show stoppers. So I have picked two gorgeous fabrics and two classic patterns to go with them. So I'm starting off with this incredible Minerva Core range Baroque stretch woven jacquard. Now this is so perfect for a Christmas dress. I am absolutely convinced I love this lipstick red. I think this vintage inspired like damask design feels very holiday cheer. It is 51% cotton, 46% polyester and 3% spandex. So the spandex gives it just a little bit of stretch, which is great if your festive activities include big meals or lots of dancing. Now I really love it because of that sheen from the jacquard weave. I think it picks up and reflects the light so beautifully. Now I'm definitely thinking a dress for this fabric, but it is a really nice weight for like a jacket a skirt or a pair of trousers as well. For this gorgeous jacquard, I have picked the Liesl & Co Rush Hour Dress. It is a simple sheath style dress, and I think the classic shape is really great for showing off the beautiful damask jacquard. The close fitting bodice has a center back zip and is shaped with Dior darts, which are my favorite technique for bust shaping. A Dior dart is where you have a mini dart fitted inside a princess seam. So you basically get the best of both worlds in that Dior darts are very easy to sew, but they also provide the best opportunity to get a really dial in fit across the bust. You can also decide if you want sleeveless uh, or short or full length sleeves. The dress comes as a straight skirt with princess seams and a lined kick pleat. The rush hour also comes as a blouse with a crossover asymmetrical peplum. The printed Liesl & Co pattern comes in sizes 0 to 20, which covers hips 35 to 48 and a half inches. It also has separate pattern pieces for three bust cup options. So in addition to that really tailored design feature, it also has extra pattern pieces to help you get a really good fit. The rush hour is rated three out of four for difficulty. The silhouette is really straightforward and simple, but the aim of this pattern is to help you really nail the fit and level up your finishing uh, with some couture style techniques. Most light to medium weight fabrics will work well for the rush hour dress. Uh, given the simple shape, the fabric choice is a really going to have a big impact on the final garment. So for a more casual vibe, fabrics like linen, cotton lawn, or chambray are great options. And if you're looking for something more formal, perhaps for a party dress, uh, suiting fabrics, brocades, and jacquards like this one work really nicely. My next showstopper pick is this beautiful Minerva Core range Blizzard Glitter Organza. So this comes in this beige colorway as well as a white and an ivory. Now each colorway has these gorgeous uh, iridescent flecks. They are so, so pretty. This organza is 100% polyester and it has a really nice amount of body. It is kind of on the suppler side for an organza, but still has a good amount of structure. So anything with like gathers will have a really nice fullness. Uh, this would be gorgeous made up in like something with a puff sleeve or a gathered skirt. Now it's from our bridal collection, but I think it would make a really great party dress. For something more modern, you could go for a loose fitted uh, silhouette that is unlined. You could style it over a slip dress. I have been loving that look lately. And for something more classic, you could add a lining. So I have picked the Minerva Core range uh, acetate taffeta. Uh, this beige is a really good color match, as you can see here, uh, but it's also a really great match for the Blizzard glitter organza uh, weight wise as well. So 
This one has a little bit extra volume than a regular acetate lining, and that's gonna work really well to not add extra bulk, but add some good support for the organza here. For the Blizzard Glitter Organza and the matching acetate taffeta lining, I am envisioning a fun, fabulous New Year's Eve dress. Now, since the fabric is really bold, I thought I would go for a classic silhouette. So I have chosen the Emery dress from Christine Haynes. This is a vintage inspired, softer version of the classic fit and flare shape. It has a fitted lined bodice with bust weight bust waist and shoulder darts for shaping. It has a soft gathered skirt and two sleeve options. Now I really love the option to add a little bow at the center front waist. It's normally not a feature that I would go for, but I think on a festive glittery dress, it is the perfect touch. Now the Emery dress comes in sizes zero to 28, which covers hips 33 to 58 inches. It is rated an easy pattern. It's a great one if you are ready to start um, leveling up your skills as a beginner. Now the Emery dress is a fantastic pattern to have in your stash because it works with so many different fabrics. Um, you can go for cotton is kind of the like classic choice, but linen and viscose are really good options too. For a fancier version, specialty fabrics like non-stretch velvet, brocade, and sheer fabrics like this one will make a beautiful special occasion emery dress. Next, I want to highlight a couple of the beautiful crushed velvets from the Minerva Exclusive Collection. So knit velvets are such a great option for the holiday season. They're relatively quick to sew and they instantly elevate like any silhouette and most importantly, they are super, super comfy and cozy to wear. So the first one I have chosen is the Crystal Chrysanthemums print. Now this print, the colors in here are so gorgeous. I love these jewel tones. They're so perfect for winter. And I like that these little flecks, like they make up these beautiful abstract flowers, but it is abstract enough that I kind of like to imagine them as like little Christmas lights or little baubles on a holiday tree, but it's definitely versatile enough that you could still wear it the rest of the year. So this crushed velvet is 92% polyester and 8% elastane. It has 60% crossways stretch and 15% vertical stretch. So this is a really great option for most jersey patterns, great for dresses, skirts, and tops and even trousers. For the Crystal Chrysanthemums Crushed Velvet Knit, I was thinking a versatile wrap dress would be a really nice wardrobe addition, one that could dress up really nicely for the holidays, but still be wearable day to day. So I have picked the Cashmere Appleton dress. This is my favorite knit wrap dress pattern. I think it is gorgeously simple. It's a really well executed design. So it is a full wrap. So it is complete with a stretched in neckband that guarantees no gaping across the bust. It keeps everything in place nice and securely. Uh, it has a waistband and a waist tie, and then a straight wrap skirt with two sleeve options. The Cashmere at Appleton comes in the full size range, which is packed across two bands. So the zero to 16 envelope covers hips 35 to 46 inches, and that one is designed for a straighter figure. And then the 12 to 32 envelope comes for hips uh, 42 to 62 inches, and that one is designed for a curvier figure with a slightly higher waistline as well. Now, both size bands include pattern pieces for three separate bust cup options in each size. Now, it's rated easy, so if you have experience working with knits, you should be able to whip one up in no time. The Cashmere at Appleton is designed for knit fabrics with at least 50% crossway stretch, so fabrics like most jerseys, ITY, and interlock knits are great options for the Appleton, as well as knitted velvets like the Minerva Exclusive Crushed Velvet Knits. The other velvet I have chosen may not fit the mold for a typical holiday dress. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love classic jewel tones and the traditional red, green, and gold. When I saw this fabric, I could not stop thinking about a head-turning holiday dress, perfect for New Year's Eve. So this is another one of Minerva exclusive crushed velvet knits, and this is the print 
electric blooms. So I just think this bright pink is so stunning. I am in love with these colors. We have the soft red and the lilac against that electric pink background. Now it's on the same base as the Crystal Chrysanthemums print. So again, it is 92% polyester and 8% elastane. And it's got the 60% horizontal stretch and 15% vertical stretch. It has a really nice soft hand to it, lots of drape. I have my heart set on another dress in this fabric, but it would be great for skirts, jackets, and even loungewear. For the Electric Blooms Crushed Velvet Knit, I have chosen the Style Arc Tallulah Knit Dress. And I have been dreaming about this dress for ages, and I just think it would make such a great statement dress made up in this bright pink velvet. It is a shift style dress with a little gathered panel. It creates some nice fullness at the hem for a cute dropped waist look. I think that it kind of is like 1920s flapper girl meets modern cozy comfort. So the Tallulah dress is straight through the body with some slight shaping through the side and back seams. There are long sleeves and the dress is finished with a stretched in neckband. Tallulah comes in sizes four to 30, which is spread across three size envelopes. So the four to 16 envelope covers hips 32 and a half to 44 and a half inches. The 10 to 22 envelope is a bit in the middle for hips uh, 38 and a half to 51 inches. And then the 18 to 30 range covers hips 46 and a half to 61 inches. Style arcs instructions are notoriously light. So while the construction of this pattern is pretty straightforward, I would recommend having some experience sewing knits um, and constructing similar shapes like a t-shirt in knit fabrics before taking this one on. Now, speaking of knit fabrics, you will want to look for uh, jerseys and knits for the Tallulah dress. You'll want them with a little bit more body, so cotton jersey, ITY, interlock, and velvet knits are gonna be great. I love the idea of a fun, bright Tallulah dress in this electric blooms crushed velvet knit. So next I have some separates. I picked two blouses and a pair of trousers in fabrics that are gonna work really well together. So if you're looking to make a mini capsule wardrobe for this season's festivities, this little section is for you. So first up, I have some beautiful fabrics to make up a very special blouse. Now, I love the Adrian blouse by Friday Pattern Company, and I had the idea of making it a bit extra special by doing the bodice in a plain fabric and then the sleeves in some fancy lace for some extra drama. So first up is my all-time favorite jersey fabric. This is the Minerva Core range bamboo cotton jersey. So this one is 68% bamboo, 28% cotton, and 4% elastane. It is super stretchy with really nice recovery. It's got 70% um, horizontal and vertical stretch. And I love it because it is a bit sturdier than like a viscose jersey, but it has some drape, more drape than a cotton jersey. And it even has like a nice little sheen to it for a little, little bit extra. So that's that one. And then for the sleeves, I have this gorgeous Minerva Core range Madeline tool mesh. So this one is 100% nylon. It is so nice and soft. Now it is a tool fabric and sometimes those can be like a little rough or scratchy against the skin, but this one is so nice and soft. I think it is so beautiful with this little Swiss dot here in there. Now it has a little bit of give, but it is a non-stretch fabric. So this one is going to be great for sewing lingerie. It's also really good for um, doing like a tiered skirt, um, perhaps a overlay for a dress or a blouse. So it is super sheer and really beautiful. The Adrian Blouse by Friday Pattern Company is a long-standing favorite in the sewing community, and it is really easy to see why. It is so romantic with the drama of the contrast of that fitted bodice and then the big, beautiful sleeves. It's got the gather at the shoulder. The sleeves are anchored to the shoulder with some elastic, and it's also finished with elastic at the sleeve hemmed as well, uh, creating that really big, beautiful balloon sleeve. The Adrian blouse comes in sizes extra small to 4X, covering hips measuring 35 to 57 inches. It is an easy pattern. The instructions walk you through the basics of sewing with knit fabrics and making elastic channels, so it's a really great skill builder pattern. 
you'll want to look for knit fabrics with at least 25% horizontal stretch. So that's going to be the stretch that goes across the bodice because it is quite fitted there. Now you can use a more structured fabric like a Ponte or an interlock for a more architectural bodied look. Or if you're leaning into that romantic vibe, uh, you could go for something drapier like viscose tensile jersey. ITY and sweater knits are also great options. Now, I have gone a little bit off script by including a non-stretch fabric here. Now, the body of the blouse still needs to be made in a knit, so that is where we have this bamboo jersey, so it's gonna stretch and fit around the body, so that's why I've gone for this one as the base. But then the sleeves are really big and billowy, and they're really just large pieces of fabric gathered up into the elastic here and at the hem so as long as you have that elastic you don't need any stretch through the sleeves and i just think this netting fabric would be so gorgeous made up as the sleeves of the adrian blouse with the contrast of this solid for the body i think it would be so beautiful with that sheared sleeve just a timeless romantic statement piece for the second blouse, I have one of the new Atelier Brunette Viscoses. This is the print Water Lily in the night colorway. So this is for sure my favorite from their new collection. It is 100% viscose, lots of drape and fluidity to it, but it has kind of a sturdier, steadier hand than a lot of viscoses. Um, it's really, really lovely and has like just a little bit of structure to it. But more than the texture, I am absolutely obsessed with the colors in this fabric. The dark background is broken up with these splashes of petrol and this dark purple. And then the main motif has this like rust and lilac with the dark blue. It has a really 70s feel to it, but because of the shape, that kind of abstract feel, it has more of a modern vibe to it. Uh, this would be great for blouses, dresses, skirts, and even trousers. To go with the Atelier Brunette Water Lily Viscose, I have picked the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie Blouse and Dress. So it's a paneled blouse and dress with lots of options for customization. There is a front and back yoke and the center front and the center back pieces gather into that yoke seam. So it has a round neckline with a small button and loop closure at the back. There's a two piece sleeve. So you have a basic short sleeve and then gathered into that piece here, uh, you have a big rectangle that ends in elastic at the wrist. So it's a really cute vintage inspired shape. You can add ruffles at the neck and at the shoulder. And the other beautiful detail is an option for zigzagged pin tucks at the yoke and at the top of the sleeve. Marty comes in Tilly and the Buttons full size range. So that is Tilly sizes one to 15, which is roughly a UK six to 34, which is for hips 33 to 61 inches. Marnie is considered an improver pattern. So this design has a lot of detail and for that, it's not a great first garment project, but if you've sewn a few dressmaking projects and you're comfortable at your machine, you can definitely take this one on as a beginner. Now, it's not a complicated pattern, but depending on how many bells and whistles you go for with all those details, it can be a lot to keep track of, even though Tilly and the Buttons patterns are definitely known for their great instructions and their sew alongs are there to help you if you get stuck anywhere along the way. Fabric choice is really important for the Marnie. So if you're going for those pin tucks, you will want something that's going to press well and hold its shape while you're sewing. So cotton and lightweight linen are really good options. But if you're skipping the tucks, you could go for something drapier uh, like viscose, tensile, or crepe. Now, as much as I love the pin tuck detail, I am okay leaving them off and just to really let the print of this water lily viscose shine in the A-line shape of the Marnie. To go with the two blouses, I have another beautiful fabric for some trousers. Now this is another Atelier Brunette fabric. This is the Dandy Cotton Velvet in the colorway Forest. Now you may notice that this petrol color is the same as the background in that Water Lily print, which makes them great for pairing together. Now it also comes in three other colorways, which also match the other Atelier Brunette collections. So the Dandy Cotton Velvet is a woven velvet. It is made up of 98% cotton and 2% elastane. So it has just a little bit of give, which is really nice for trousers and skirts and heavier dresses. 
It also has this really beautiful checked design in here, which gives it a lot of dimension. It's actually like cut into, it feels almost more like a corduroy than a velvet. I think it is really great. It really picks up a lot of light. It's so beautiful. Now this is a really nice weight for jackets and skirts, uh, pinafores or trousers. For the Atelier Brunette Dandy Cotton Velvet, I have picked the Brooklyn Trousers from Maison Faux. Uh, these are super cute, modern, wide leg trousers. So the front has these deep feature pleats with slant pockets. And then the back is shaped with short double darts on each side that lead into an Italian faux pocket. The waist is finished with a facing and extra little belt loops as a nice little detail. Uh, the Brooklyn trousers come in EU sizes 34 to 52, which is for hips measuring 34 and a half to 51 inches. It is rated advanced, but there are sew alongs to help you out through the sewing process. And you'll wanna look for bottom weight fabrics like gabardine, wool suiting, linen, tensile, twill, corduroy, and velvets like this dandy cotton velvet from Atelier Brunette. The last project I have to share is maybe a little bit cheeky because it's not exactly party wear, but I cannot think about sewing for the holidays without the itch to sew up some festive sleepwear. Now, I think that sewing your own pajamas is one of the greatest luxuries, such a great gift to give to yourself, especially when you sew them up in a lush cotton sateen like the one that I have picked. So this is the Minerva Exclusive Popcorn Jelly Cotton Sateen. It is 100% cotton. It is super light and gorgeously soft. It is seriously so luxurious. I love the bright colors in this vibrant print. Now this is not a Christmas print, but I like to imagine that it, like it could be. I think the bright orange and red with the pink against this green background could kind of look like lights in a tree perhaps. Uh, you could definitely play it up with a cheery Christmas label from Sarah Hart. She has some really, really cute holiday labels. Um, and then you could also do maybe some colorful piping. Or if you wanted to just make yourself a, a gift for Christmas, that's not necessarily Christmas PJs, you could just leave it as it is. I think it would be so luxurious and you would definitely be able to wear them all year long. To go with the Minerva Exclusive Popcorn Jelly Cotton Sateen, I have picked the classic Carolyn pajamas from Closet Core Patterns. If you are going for luxury PJs, this is the pattern to sew. It is such a sewing community favorite. It is so dreamy with that vintage inspired silhouette. You have the classic notched collar, optional piping, and of course, pockets. Now you can choose between short and long sleeves for both uh, for the top, or you can pick shorts or full length trousers for the bottoms. The printed Carolyn pajamas come in US sizes zero to 20, which covers hips 33 to 48 inches. It is an intermediate pattern, so the notched collar and the cuffs definitely will take some attention to detail, but if you're wanting to make it a little easier on yourself, you can skip the piping for a quicker and easier sew. You'll wanna pick light to medium weight woven fabrics, ideally in natural fibers if you're planning to actually sleep in them. So cotton is the obvious choice. You could go for poplin, gauze, flannel, lawn, and sateens like this one. Those are great choices, uh, but linen and viscose also make lovely Carolyn pajamas too. So those are my project picks for stitching up some festive winter party garments this holiday season. I would love to know what you are making for the holidays this year, so comment below your winter party sewing plans. We love chatting all about what's on your sewing table. And as always, all the products are linked below, so on each product page, you can not only check out the extra product details, but you can also see what other folks in the Minerva community have made up with them. There is so, so much great sewing inspiration from the talented sewers in the Minerva community. And if you would like to join us and show off your makes and connect with other makers around the world, you can sign up with the link below and also get 5% off your next Minerva order. We would absolutely love to have you here with us. Now that is all from me today. Until next time, happy making and happy holidays. Bye.